first day of the second year of building and I'm working on putting up this stud wall that I got all the boards cut for yesterday. I just got them all laid down and as always I've numbered all of them so that the studs that are specifically cut for the different heights are all identified and they all match up to where they're going to go on the uh, footer and the header up here. Uh, I've got a bunch of 8D nails which I would use normally for 2x4s but before I jump into those I wanted to use up a bunch of these messed up ones. I have a bunch of nails that were pulled out of boards and this is a great opportunity to just get them you know thrown into somewhere and put to good use instead of getting thrown into a trash bag and possibly tearing the bottom out later. Uh, you know, waste not, want not is my policy whenever I have the time to do it. And, you know, it only takes a few minutes to get the nails straightened out. I want to show you the procedure that I use to do that. Uh, many of the nails that are pulled out are actually just, there's a little bit of a bend to them and I, I, I can just hammer these in straight. Don't even have to straighten them at all. But some of these that have, this is like a 45 degree angle, uh, I'm going to put it down on the board so that the bend is facing up. I'm going to hold it on one side and just tap it. wants to kind of roll, I can keep it rolling and it's pretty straight. Now uh, if I was going to be hammer this, hammering this into something where I felt there was going to be a lot of resistance, I've got a technique for that uh, using vice grips where if you're hammering it into something and you're afraid it's going to bend over again, you grab it just underneath the nail head with the vice grips and as you're hammering in, you want to be kind of, pull, well once you get it set, you want to be kind of pulling up on the vice grips. And I find that even really crazily messed up nails, even longer nails, if I'm pulling up on the vice grip, keeping it relatively straight, or you know, as straight as I possibly can as I nail it in, it's not going to bend as it goes in. So you can take really wonky nails and if you use this vice grip technique, you can hammer uh, them in. Now these are just 8D nails, they're pretty short and they're going through soft uh, pine uh, 2x4s here, so I don't even think I'm going to need this technique. But if you've got crazy nails and you're worried about them bending as you hammer them in, you do that technique and it's going to keep them pretty straight as you go in. And of course you want to disconnect the vice grips just before you know you get the, well you don't want to start hammering the vice grips down into the wood is what I'm saying. So that's it. I'm going to get this uh, wall done today. Uh, I'm going to cut a few more. I think this whole diagonal like weird section here I'll be able to get done uh, today. Today's a little bit of a shorter day, I got, but I got in here early. I want to put in a few hours and uh, you know I've got other things I've got to do today with River. But, uh, but I think I can get this whole wall here done and then tomorrow I'll move in into the rest of it. Things continue to move. Always wish it could go faster, but they're going well and every day is a step closer. That's it. Thanks for watching.